Hi, my name is Katie J. Simmons, e-commerce specialist with Fit Small Business, and I'm here today to show you how to set up an online store using Squarespace. At the time of this video, Squarespace is our top recommended website builder and made our list of the best e-commerce platforms for small businesses. We like that Squarespace has beautiful, highly rated website templates, social sales channels options, and the ability to set up product forms. It does have some drawbacks though, including limited functionality on lower level plans, transaction fees without upgrading, and limited payment options. Squarespace's drag and drop functionality, extensive unique templates, strong SEO features, and native sales tools are where Squarespace beats Shopify, which is our top recommended e-commerce platform for small businesses. If you're still deciding which e-commerce solution is right for you, we've linked our buyer's guide below. But building an online store with Squarespace takes just six simple steps, so let's get started. The first step is to sign up for an account, which also involves exploring and choosing a template. Squarespace offers a 14-day free trial that you can use before paying for a plan. Go to squarespace.com and click on Get Started. Unlike other website builders like Shopify and BigCommerce, Squarespace actually lets you select a template before creating your accounts. So from here, you'll find a selection checklist that'll help you narrow down your choices. You can select online store underneath the type column in order to see all of the available e-commerce templates and try to find one that suits your needs. You can click on preview to see each template in action before moving forward. And then once you find one that you like, click start with this design. Once you've selected a template, you'll be taken to a setup wizard that begins with creating an account. You can do this through Google, Apple, Facebook, or by entering an email address. The next step is to add products for selling. And there are a few different ways that you can go about this. If you have a big catalog, you can upload a CSV file. And if you're migrating from another platform, such as Etsy, Big Cartel, or Shopify, Squarespace allows you to import product data from those platforms directly. You can find instructions to do that on squarespace.com. Another option is to add products manually, which is what we're going to show you how to do here. Start by clicking the Commerce tab under the main menu, and then choose Add Products for Sale. Then you'll select what it is you want to sell. Squarespace has options for selling physical goods, as well as digital products like eBooks and audio downloads, or you can set it up to sell services. So from here, you'll pick whether you're setting up a physical, digital, service, or gift card type of product. Product pages have all of these sections shown here. You can be as detailed as you want to um, with the product information that you provide, but keep in mind that you want the customer to have all of the info that they need in order to make a confident buying decision. So here are all of the sections that you can add to. The details section, which includes elements like a product name, description, and any other necessary information. Additional section blocks are also available uh, to enter longer descriptions, videos, or other descriptive content. There's the images section. When creating or editing a product, here you can add featured images, a primary image, variant images, and alternate social sharing images. In the inventory section, you can set regular and on-sale prices, SKUs, and product options, including product variants. In the organization section, you'll specify categories and tags for your products. This helps customers find them more easily on your site. In the visibility section, you can adjust where your products appear on your site and enable product reviews to be displayed. The marketing section allows you to configure permalink, SEO product titles, um, and other kinds of descriptions. You can also customize the image and description excerpt that appears when shoppers see your products as they're shared on social media. The checkout function lets you customize the text for checkout buttons, collect customer information through custom forms when shoppers are checking out, and charge customers on a recurring basis by setting up a subscription. Um, you can also use this to create forms for shoppers to complete when they buy a personalized item, something like um, a custom engraving or lettering instructions. 
Once you've filled in the product details, don't forget to click on Save in the top right corner of the editor. From here, you can choose to make your product visible immediately by hitting Publish. Schedule it to go live on a certain date or at a certain time by hitting Schedule, or keep it hidden by just hitting Save. The next step is to set up payment options to be able to process payments. This involves configuring your store's currency and connecting to any of Squarespace's payment processors. To do this, navigate to your store's commerce options again, and then click on Payments under the Setup column. Note that the payment processors in commerce are separate from those that you have set up with other Squarespace products, such as scheduling. Squarespace supports Stripe, PayPal, and Apple Pay for online sales, and it integrates with Square for in-person sales in the United States. Depending on your business's location, you are required to set up taxes for your online store based on state requirements. So you may need to charge sales tax in your home state and where your customers are located. To make this simple, you can just set up tax-inclusive pricing from your payment processor selection, and that way sales tax is already included in the product price. Once your online store can accept payments, it's time to configure how you will fulfill your orders. If you're selling physical goods online, you'll need to choose a shipping option. And if you have a brick and mortar store and want to offer pickup options, you can set that up in this section as well. To do this, go back to the setup column under commerce and click on shipping. Then hit add shipping option to get started. You can see here that shipping prices can be calculated in a number of different ways. You can offer flat rate shipping, shipping rates based on weight, carrier calculated through FedEx, UPS, or USPS, or you can offer free shipping through the flat rate shipping function. If you want to use a different carrier, or if you need to ship internationally, Squarespace has third-party shipping extensions such as ShipBob and ShipStation. You can also specify a local pickup option for those who want to collect their orders in person rather than wait for them to be shipped. And to activate this function, click Setup Pickup, and then go to Add Pickup Option. Then set your store's location name, address, and add special instructions if needed. After you've completed the commerce side of your online store, you can move on to the fun part, which is designing your website. Squarespace's biggest advantage is its website builder tools, like aesthetically pleasing templates, an intuitive drag and drop website editor, and the ability to customize sections using CSS code. Since you've already chosen a template for your website when you signed up for a trial, you just need to customize it to your brand. If you want to change your template at this point, you'll need to essentially start over from scratch, so it's better to take advantage of Squarespace's versatile customization options to add and edit elements to your pages in a new layout using your existing template. Let's start designing your website by setting up site styles. To do this, click Website beneath your project on the dashboard, and then from the main navigation menu on the left, click on Design, and then Site Styles. Here you can assign styles for fonts, including text styles for headings, paragraphs, buttons, and more, colors so that you can edit the palette of your website to fit with your brand, animations, which allows you to animate site elements as they appear on the page, such as fade, scale, slide, clip, or none at all. Spacing is going to alter the width, margins, and general appearance of the page. Buttons will allow you to configure styles and shapes of buttons. Um, and image blocks, which will adjust content position, alignment, text positioning, and more. Here you can also configure your browser icon or favicon, um, your lock screen, which is the page that visitors see when your site or individual pages on your site are password protected, um, as well as your 404 error pages. Once you've set your site's global styles, the next step is to edit your template. When you're ready to edit your site, click on Edit at the top of the page. Start by naming your website if you haven't done so already and uploading a logo. Just in case you skipped inputting your website's name before entering this editor, you can hover over the site header and click Edit Site Header to open up this menu. Then click on the first option, which is Site Title and Logo, and change the title to your business name. Next, scroll down to the very bottom of your screen and hover over the footer to edit. 
your template will already have some pre-selected elements and sections that you can add in. Um, these include things like social media icons and links to different pages. To set up the rest of the page, simply click on Add Section and choose from the various options that come up in this pop-up window. Here you can easily insert headlines, lists, a gallery, images, quotes, text, and video. Special section features include appointments, contact forms, donations, newsletters, products, reservations, and more. The last step in designing your store is adding pages and setting up navigation. From the main menu, click on Pages, which is that first op option on the left of the screen. And here you'll find the pages and navigation from the template that you chose. You can add more by clicking on this plus sign next to Main Navigation here. And you can select between a blank page or you can use some of the page layouts that they have preset for you. Assign a name to your page, and then it can be edited just like all of the other pages that you tackled using this edit option in the upper left hand corner. You can reorder these pages by dragging the page names up and down in this menu on the left, and that automatically changes the arrangement of your navigation bar. One of Squarespace's key advantages is its automatic SEO feature, so as you're designing your site, the platform automatically optimizes your pages, categories, navigation, and URLs for search engine visibility. To do this, head over to the main menu and click on your username at the bottom left corner of the screen. You'll be led to your account dashboard where you'll find a list of all of the sites that you've created using Squarespace. Click on the ellipsis beside the site that you want to upgrade and proceed to billing. From here, you can upgrade your plan to a, a premium one. To sell on Squarespace, you'll need to upgrade your site to either a business plan for $23 a month, a basic commerce plan for $27 a month, or an advanced commerce plan for $49 per month. This lowest tier plan, called the personal plan, which costs $14 a month, does not enable e-commerce. These prices are accurate at the time of recording, but may be subject to change in the future, and note that they're based on the annual payment option, whereas monthly payments will cost a little bit more. Here's what our completed Squarespace demo store looks like. It has easy navigation, social media links, a button to get to sales products, some featured items, attractive information sections, and a newsletter sign-up field at the bottom. Read our Squarespace review linked below to learn more about what features are included in each plan, or click the link to our e-commerce platform buyer's guide to explore some of your other options, like Shopify, BigCommerce, Square, and Equid. Thanks for watching.